So my name is uh, Tiran Loa. I was born and raised in Nepal. So I speak Nepalese. Um, I'm also a singer songwriter and I go by the stage name Loa. And I'm glad to be on this show. <laughs> Thank you, Loa. So uh, my name is Nabil, Nabil Ashraf Shubho. Uh, I'm from Bangladesh. I was um, born and raised in Silet, Silet region. So uh, I can speak Bengali. Uh, also, I can speak a specific specific dialect that is Sileti. Um, and I'm a PhD student here in Washington State University uh, in chemistry department. And I'm working as a, a research assistant in Institute of Materials Research at Washington State University. Um, the, the first word is pool. It's pool. Pool. Yep, pool. It's flower, is it? Spot on. Yeah. So uh, in, uh, in our language, there is pool. And sometimes people actually call it as fool. Like they don't have the distinction between P, PO, and FO. Same with Nepal too. It's, it's yeah. uh, pronounced either pool or fool. Yeah, exactly. So my first Bengali word is Icha. Icha. Um... Itcha. Okay, does it mean a wish, a wish or desire? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's itcha. Yeah. So uh -huh. is it the same in Nepal? Yeah, it's it's, it's about the same. Itcha uh -huh. is, we, 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 yeah, we use uh, itcha for uh, desire or like wish. Wish, exactly. Wow. The, the next word is zutta. 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 Okay, so yeah. I'm guessing it's juta. I mean, it's shoe, right? Is it? Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, shoe in the Bengali is juta. So sometimes we call it juta or juto. So my next Bengali word is oshud. 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 Uh -huh. uh, this one's pretty hard. Uh, should, uh, should is pronounced, uh, if I'm not mistaken, should is pronounced as should, the, which means uh, pure. And then... No, no, no. And then a should is another thing. Uh, my word is oshud. Oshud, oh, I mean, oshud. actually, it comes from oshot. You know, oshod, oshodha. Does it mean medicine then? Medicine? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it, it means medicine. Yeah, in Nepali, we uh, pronounce it as uh, oshodi. Oshadi. Oshadi. Yeah. Wow. So we use Aushadi, but we we mean it mean Oshadi as like medicinal. Oshadi. And mm. Oshud is the medicine. Prakritic. Oh. Prakritic. Natural. Yeah. Prakritic. Natural. Yeah. So in Nepali it's a uh, Prakriti. Prakriti is a uh, nature and then Prakritic is a uh, natural. Yeah, it's the same in Bengali. It's prakriti in prakriti means nature, and prakritik means natural. So the third Bengali word is garbhavoti. Oh, uh, can you can you pronounce that again? It's garbhavoti. Garbhavoti. Yeah, I think I know this. Does it mean uh, pregnancy? Yeah, yeah, preg pregnant. Pregnant. Uh, pregnant. So if somebody, if if a woman is pregnant, is yeah, that is Gopavati. So the, the fourth word is uh, Kavi. 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 Uh -huh. Kavi. Does it mean poet? Yeah, it's it's a poet. So you call, uh, we call it as Kavi. <laughs> Kavi. Okay, with V. And we call it uh, with a B. It's Kavi. Kavi. Uh, so uh, how do you pronounce uh, a poem? Kavita. Oh, it's the same. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Yeah. Kombol. Kombol. Yeah. Does it mean blanket? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> kombol. Kombol means blanket. Uh-huh. A blanket is kombol. The fifth one is uh, gazer. 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 I mean, uh, carrot. Is it? Yeah, it's carrot. But you pronounce yeah. it as gazer? gazer? No, we pronounce it gajor. Uh, we don't say that za instead of, I mean, we use ja. So it's gajo. So the fifth one is udaharon. Um, can you pronounce that again? Yeah, it's udaharon. Udaharon. Oh, I think, is it an example? <laughs> is it example? Yeah. Wow. We say udaharon. We say udaharon. We, we 
pronounce it as Udaharan. Well, I mean, you pronounce it almost the same as us. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> the sixth one is Ita. 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 I mean, okay, Ita. Um, Ita. Is it eat? Eat. Eat means bricks. Yeah. Eat. Brick, yeah. So we oh. The sixth Bengali word is dud. Oh, that's Is it uh, milk? <laughs> yeah. That, that's milk. So do you call it dud or something like little? We call it dud as well. That's a spot on. We call it dud as well. Dud. Wow. So that's, mm. that's milk. Yeah. The seventh Nepali word will be itihas. Oh, it's Itihash, history. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So we, I mean, we replace the S with Sha in most of the words, not every word, yeah. but in most of the words we use Sha. So Itihash. So so how do you pronounce uh, um, historic instead of history? Oitihashi. Oitihashi. Yeah, Oitihashi. Oitihashi. We, we, we pronounce it as Oitihashi. Exactly, it's the same. It oh, has even, even the composition of, of these words are the same. Okay, my seventh word is bheda. Bheda. So, bheda. Is it um, sheep? Yeah, it's sheep. Spot on. So we, I think we got all the seven words correct. Matsa, pokhari, ma, paincha. So Matsa, can you repeat it again? Sure. Matsa, pokhari, ma, paincha. Masha, Pokhari, Ma, Paincha. Yeah. Okay, so Masha, Pokhari, Ma, Paincha. Uh -huh. uh, I guess the Masha is Mach. I mean, Mach means fish in Bengali. Okay, and Pokhari could be like, um, I mean, I, I, I can understand the Hindi similarity, like Pokhari is Pokhari, Pakari, or like catching, or related no. to catching something. No, oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing. So, Macha, can you repeat the sentence again? Like, Macha Pokhari? Pokhari ma paincha. So, Pokhari ma is a Pokhari is a different word, and then ma is a different word, right? Macha Pokhari ma paincha. Mm. So, I'm, I'm, uh, you, I'm basically telling you where, where a fish can be found. Pokhari ma paincha. So, uh, Pancha is like power, like getting. Yep, exactly. Yeah, we we say power, power jabe, power something. So, mm -hmm. okay. So, macha, pokhari ma. So, pokhari is puku. What does that is mean? It pond? That is it the pond? Yep. Pond? Yep. Oh, pokhari ma. Okay. It, it was easy, right. but I didn't see it. Ma means oh. many in Hindi, like. Uh, in so, yeah, so what is yeah, it? Okay. So in Bengali, it would be Pukure Mach Pawajabe or Pawajai Pukure Mach oh, okay. Pawajai. So, oh, okay, yeah, so, so that uh, Ma is A after Pukur. So Pukure that means Pukharima. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Now, I mean, it changes with the emphasis how we are. Um, making the we constructing the sentence. The sentence is a noditir nam megna. So the megna is a na name. So you can I mean don't you don't have to think about it. But the a noditir nam megna. Okay. So nam is name. Mm -hmm. and, uh, does it mean a person noditir? Ah uh, no, but um, I mean it's a thing. It's a geographic thing, I would, I would say. We have uh, something uh, uh, we call a river or nodi. Yeah, yeah, that's the okay. same. Nodi, a river. Yeah. So uh, basically, my sentence is the name of this river is Meghna. Meghna is our biggest, uh, largest river in our country. Okay. Do you know about Ganga, the Padma River? Yeah. It comes from India. So that actually falls in Meghna, and Meghna is, I mean, it's the that's why it's the biggest river in Bangladesh. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, you get it. You, you got it almost. I mean, 
the lodi is the same i mean the sentence was very simple i know yeah, so just the structure it just got me a little bit yeah so the structure is like a nodi j nab meina yeah so we basically mm -hmm, putting name in the in the end yeah so how would you call it in, how would you say it in nepali like the name of this river is something the name of this river right yeah um, so you would say yo nodi ko naam meghna ho exactly so yo is a in our, our language yo yo nodi ko naam ho meghna ho uh -huh. oh the ho is in, in the end uh -huh. ah mm -hmm. right uh, i just want to say that um it's it's so beautiful how these languages are connected to each other has the same root and i actually uh found out um how these languages are similar to some of my friends um i had some co-workers um that were of bengali and then i used to hear them uh, talking on the phone and uh i i used to uh, you know get some of those uh, words that they were speaking so i i that's how i found out that uh, these two languages might be similar to each other and it's actually true uh, as we know from this video <laughs> yeah i mean I also thought that I mean most of our words are like many vocabulary are very similar, and although I didn't get like one word or two, where what happened there is like I thought those words that I thought might be coming from Sanskrit I got it perfectly because we also use the same thing. But when I was thinking that it could be some other word, something other than Sanskrit or related to Sanskrit, then I got like perplexed. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, guys. Uh, you know, this was this was really great. It was really wonderful. And uh, I'm glad to hear that uh, you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for uh, inviting so much. us. Uh, I've, been, I've been following your works for like more than five or six years, I guess. From the beginning when I was, uh, for the first video I saw was related to, I guess, the differences between or the relationship between uh, Persian and Urdu. So mm -hmm. that's when that's that from that, the, yeah. That was one of the first so, ones, yeah. Yeah. So I've been oh. following your work, and it's it's very very, um, very amazing. Thanks because, a lot. I'm I'm happy to hear that. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank you for this place, by the way, and and, and thank my you pleasure, much. my pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, I also would like to respect you for uh, the the work you've been doing besides YouTube, um, the the social works, and then. I would also like to um, appreciate you for that. Yeah, yeah I, thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate that. And again, thank you so much for, for being a part of this. Uh, I enjoyed it as well. I learned a lot in the process. And uh, I hope that everybody else enjoys it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.